In this video, I'm going to be taking you through the step-by-step -step process of how to create awesome stickers to sell on Etsy. Now, even though these are small items, people are actually willing to pay a few dollars for each one. Now, I was hesitant to explore this product because I honestly didn't believe it was worth it financially. But after looking into it, I found many stores making tons of money with these. Honestly, I was kind of shocked to learn that you could make almost a million dollars in sales in a couple of years selling stickers. Now, there's two ways to do it. You can buy a bunch of equipment and fulfill the orders on your own. This means stacking supplies printing, packing, and shipping the stickers yourself. Now, there's tons of people doing it this way, and you could do it too, but that means making a huge investment up front and taking a big risk. However, there's a better way to get started, and that is to do print-on-demand stickers. This means that your entire job comes down to just designing cool stickers. Then, you'll be partnering up with the print-on-demand provider that will take care of printing them for you, packing, and shipping them to your customers every time you make a sale. This means no sticker is printed until it's sold, no inventory or logistics to worry about. So, at this means is you only need to do a little bit of research, create some designs, and then upload your listings to Etsy, who on top of all will take care of driving traffic to your brand new shop. This is by far the most beginner-friendly way to get started in this business, and I'll show you all the tools you need to create awesome best-selling designs. So this sticker alone has generated more than $12,000 in sales. It's just a funny slogan in black and white, it doesn't have any graphics or color, and it's not just an outlier. This other one has made more than $10,000, again just an inspirational quote in this case, just text with a different font, and the examples go on. The shop that sells these quote stickers has made almost a million dollars in a couple of years. That is honestly unbelievable to me and it's not even the best part. You won't believe the profit margins of this business. So let's take one of these as an example. This is clearly a kiss cut sticker, meaning that the shape of the sticker actually follows the edges of the design. These retail for three dollars each and if we take a look at the specification, that is for a three inch sticker. Now to know just how profitable this is, you need to know how much these cost to produce. Now you can use any print-on-demand provider for these, but as an example, we're gonna go with Printify. Now, Printify offers KissCut stickers in different sizes. So this one costs $1.02 for a 2-inch and $1.14 for the 3x3 inches one. Now, with that information, we're gonna go to the Allura Etsy fee calculator, type in the selling price and the cost, and calculate exactly how much profit that would be. That is $1.13 for every $3 sale. That means a 38% profit margin, including all the Etsy and transaction fees. Now, the reason these are so popular is because they are inexpensive replacements for printed mugs, for example. You can put these on tumblers, laptops, water bottles, they even work as bumper stickers. And in fact, you could sell them as such, since Printify specifically offers weather-resistant bumper stickers. So this means that you could sell these in multiple formats and profit multiple times from the exact same designs. So we're going to use a combination of ChatGPT and Kittle to create these stickers. So what I do to begin with is go to ChatGPT and briefly explain what I plan to do. In this case, I want to start a sticker business on Etsy and I plan to sell slogan stickers as plain text or in combination with some graphics. And after laying down my plan, I go on to ask for a few cool ideas for slogan stickers. I hit enter and it will immediately give me a bunch of really cool ideas. You could also try a different approach. You could upload an example of the kind of sticker that you like or the slogan that you like and ask it to create variations with a similar tone or humor. And again, it will give you a bunch of options. If you already have an idea, you can also ask it to help you with it. So for example, since we're getting close to Halloween, I plan to create a bunch of Halloween-themed stickers featuring cute monsters and ghosts facing random everyday situations with funny slogans. So then again, you just lay down your plan and ask for a few ideas. So this is what I do. I basically use ChatGPT to take care of the entire brainstorming process. Again, you can bring examples and references into the conversation, and it works out to be a pretty seamless workflow. So now that we have an idea, we want to actually create the stickers. And in that case, you want to use a tool that combines AI image generation with full control, meaning that you can easily and precisely customize your designs. This is the best way to do it because if you try to create your designs entirely in ChatGPT or some other AI, you'll quickly realize that it takes a whole bunch of iterations to actually get the exact results you're looking for. So once we have the idea, we're going to be using Kittle to easily produce our stickers. So go to Kittle, create a new project, and make sure to set up your artboard using the exact dimensions from your print-on-demand provider. Also, make sure to change the resolution to 300 dpi. So go to your left-hand side and click on Kittle AI. This is really cool because you can choose which AI engine you want to use to create your stickers. These are all integrated into Kittle, so you don't need to pay a separate subscription or manage a separate account. You even have a small description that tells you what each one of these is better at, like great for realistic images or photography or prompt adherence. So you can choose which AI you want to use depending on the outcome that you want. Or you can go another way and choose the style you prefer. This is a more visual way to define your parameters, and it is actually what I would recommend if you already have an idea of the looks you're going for or the 
kind of image that you want to create. If you choose one of these styles, that will override your AI selection to guarantee that the results will be more in line with your intentions. So again, two different ways to get things done. Another thing is that you can change not only the aspect ratio, but also the number of images you want to create with that prompt. So for the purpose of creating stickers in bulk, we're going to do four. We're going to choose Kawaii icon style, which is, in my opinion, the most sticker friendly style out there. Briefly describe the prompt like a ghost playing video games holding a controller. Okay, that's awesome. Now we click generate image and there we go. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. And as you can see, you get four settled variations of what you ask for. And to be honest, they are almost exactly what I wanted. If you want to keep them all, what I would recommend is that you create an artboard for each one. This is something that I really like about Kittle. And it's the fact that you can have multiple artboards in the same workspace. You can easily move them around, change their sizes, and you can zoom out and have a clear picture of your creative process and your entire workflow. This is a very cool feature of Kittle and I'll show you why in a minute. Now the first thing you want to do after creating the sticker is make sure to remove the background. We want the sticker to have the silhouette of the ghost, so if you just upload this as it is, you'll get a square sticker. So to get a result like this, instead, what you want to do is select your image, go to your right hand side and choose remove background. That's it. This effectively creates an image shaped like the actual ghost. If I overlay this with another image, you can see what I mean. So now I'm going to add the text. We already got the quotes from ChatGPT, so we're going to copy and paste them and now we're going to change the font on the right hand panel. Now Kittle has a ton of really amazing fonts. I mean, you can tell these are graphic design oriented fonts. So what I would do is simply search for something related to my sticker. So maybe game and it will give me a bunch of video game related fonts. These look awesome. Now this one specifically could work very well. And now one final thing I would do is maybe add some transformation to the text. So let's do a circle and then I will adjust the size of the circle until the curvature matches that of the ghost. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Perfect. I love this. Now, if we are ready to export this, all we need to do is go to the top right hand side and click on export right next to the share button. We're going to make sure that the pixels are okay and change the resolution to 300 dpi. Make sure to check the remove background box and click download. That's it. Now, if we go back to our print on demand providers website, we can choose the kind of sticker we want to sell. Click on start designing and then here in this page, all you need to do is simply drag and drop your design. That's it. It should fit perfectly since we created it using the exact same dimensions. Now we're going to click on preview and as you can see, it automatically clips the sticker following the exact edges of our image. If we try another mockup, we can see how it looks like on a laptop, for example. Now, let me show you something really cool. Back in Kittle, if you select your artboard and go to the right hand side, you can choose to add a smart board. Now, these are essentially AI artboards. They allow you to easily change your existing design and create multiple variations of it with a simple prompt. It uses Nano Banana as a default AI engine to create the variations. They call this Kittle Flow and it does make sense because again, if you zoom out, you can see your entire workflow take shape. So I'm going to use this smart board to create a black and white version of this same design, but keeping some of the pink tones on the ghost. Now this little wand in the corner allows you to enhance your prompt to guarantee that you'll get a more accurate result. It's pretty awesome how it works honestly. It interprets what I'm saying perfectly and it just builds on top of it. So now we just click generate and wait a few seconds. Okay, that's pretty awesome. It got rid of the blue and purple tones and kept the pink in the mouth and cheeks as well as the buttons in the controller. Now that is not all you can do with these. I can go ahead and create another smart board but this time I'm going to use this one to actually place my sticker on a custom mockup that I can then upload to my Etsy listing. So I'm going to ask you to turn this design into a kiss cut sticker and place it on a drinking tumbler. So now I'm going to again enhance my prompt and click generate. Now take a look at that. That is a pretty powerful tool right there. Honestly, kind of a game changer. No need to Photoshop this into a mockup or get a subscription to one of those mockup services. You can literally just do all of it right here. And again, it's a custom mockup. It looks absolutely beautiful. I like the colors and the material they don't compete with my design, it's just perfect honestly. Now I should mention this, it takes 10 tokens each time you generate an image using a smart board. But Kittle is having an unlimited Nano Banana week from September 29 to October 3rd, meaning there's unlimited smart board generations for all pro and expert users. So that is a great opportunity to try this new tool with full creative freedom. And now here's the best part. As you can see, my original design is linked to all these smart boards. You have effectively created the workflow sequence. And what this means is that if I change the original design and then simply regenerate the prompts on the smart boards, these exact same modifications and mockups will be applied to my new sticker. I can't even begin to explain what a time saver this is and what it will do to the efficiency of your entire workflow. So definitely worth exploring. You can get a pro subscription for only $10 a month, which is an excellent deal in my opinion. And if you use this discount code, you can get a 25% off on your first month or first year on all paid plans. So make sure to give it a try. Using these exact same tools, I was able to create all these designs in a matter of minutes. Again, using ChatGPT to help me come up with some ideas, particularly for 
the slogans and then using Kittle to actually bring those ideas to life. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a great time exploring these tools and putting this tutorial together for you guys. If you got any value from it, please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. As always, I'll be more than happy to respond to every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.